What's up guys, it's Touch Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review on this little uh, piece here which is a coronation set for Starscream. This is by Megavolt Robot Factory. Here's the back. This is, I guess, their first release. It's 00001. I guess they're planning on making 10,000 more items. But uh, here's all the pieces inside the box. Now, I said this is a coronation set for Starscream, so we need a Starscream. Thankfully, here is my brand new Starscream from the Aces um, Seekers set from uh, Takara Tomy. If you saw the previous uh, video where I showed you guys this and I wasn't able to do it because I had the knockoff. Well now I have this guy, it's an official Takara Tomy, Hasbro, whatever you want to call it. So this should fit. So we're going to go ahead and do that guys. Uh, take this apart here, let's open this. Now the kit does come with the little instruction set here. So you'll see it's got the coronation add-on kit, wing hinges and head parts. You don't have to do the wing hinges or the head parts, that's optional. What I am going to do is the very basic uh, placement of the coronation kit which requires no hinge uh, attachments. Alright so what we're gonna do first is uh, actually take his regular null rays off because this does come with a set of new ones which are more accurately sized so we'll go ahead and peg those in. They peg in nicely. Now you'll notice the plastic on this star screen is a little darker than the null rays but that's okay. Uh, we'll move along and um, just so you guys know this does come with um, replacement wing hinges which I'm not going to use they allow you to move the wings to the back but I'm not going to do that I'm going to do the easiest uh, process for this alright so let's move these wings down because we do have to place these shoulder pieces on and you want the hook right here to be facing towards the back so this would go on this arm and you should hear a firm snap when you put that on I had to do it off screen for a second because I wasn't sure exactly how it pegged on but this one I should be able to do just bring it right on top it should snap into the screw hole if you got it in place right. There you go. Next thing we want to put on is the cape. All right. So once you unfold the cape, uh, it has a furry side and then it has a non-furry side. So it's really up to you which side you want to have uh, facing out. I want to have the furry side out. Now to put that on, it kind of has to snake right around here like so. So it's going to go under the wing but over the back. All right. But first you want to peg it into the, uh, or hook it onto the hook there. Then bring it around the bottom, kind of tug on it a bit, not, not too hard because this will rip, and do it right under the other wing. And it's kind of tricky on this one because you kind of have to stretch just a little bit to hook it onto that. And once you have that there, straighten out the wings, make sure the tension is even on both sides. All right, and then you'll see he's coming together quite nice. Now the last bit we need is a crown. Now it might be a tight fit because uh, these parts are painted with a thick uh, red metallic paint. But it may not be like that on your regular star screen. So we're going to go ahead and plop that on. And if, just as I suspected, a little bit weird to get on there. But once you got it on, it'll pretty much just stay there. So overall the piece is excellent. Uh, now I did show you that it does come with the wing hinges. The other thing it does come with, if you didn't see it in my previous video, is this alternate head. Now the alternate head, what it really is for is to convert a Starscream into a Leader 1 from the GoBots. So it does have that head for you to do that. But uh, yeah, so that's the kit guys. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the review. So if you have any questions or comments on this kit, please feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time guys, bye bye.